Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you top 5 best amazing new 2024 Hyper Naked Bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. New Honda CB1000R looks mighty impressive in its Hornet-inspired avatar, the CB1000R is an important motorcycle for Honda. Yet, it hasn't undergone a major update since 2018 and feels rather dated in the much-competitive leader-class Street Fighter segment. According to the latest rumors, however, the Naked is all set to go under the knife and come out in an all-new avatar with more of everything, performance, aggression, sportiness. Taking this into perspective, Japan's young machine has whipped up a render of the new CB which appears mighty impressive, more importantly, capable enough to take on rivals like the Suzuki GSX-S1000 and the Yamaha MT-10. According to rumors, the CB1000R will shed its minimalistic neo-retro skin to slip into a sportier attire. It'll take inspiration from the Honda Hornet CB750's edgy styling and one-up it with even more aggression. The render shown here paints the same picture, evident from the transformer-like fascia, sleek tail, and brawny tank shrouds. Another notable detail is the massive radiator and its partnering grille that add even more beef to the mix. The thing we most look forward to, however, is the upgrade in performance. You see, the current Gen CB1000 art draws its 998 cubic centimeters. Suzuki France has taken the wraps off the new special edition of the GSX-8S middleweight street bike. It comes with a livery that is fancier than the standard model along with a bunch of accessories. Although this bike won't come to India anytime soon, we have compiled a few drool-worthy images and details of the motorcycle for enthusiasts. While the overall bodywork is the same as the standard bike, it is adorned with a special Suzuki Endurance Racing Team livery that celebrates the company's success in the Endurance World Championship EWC. These decals enhance the visual appeal of the motorcycle and make it look even more muscular, especially around the fuel tank section. The accessories featured on this edition as standard include tank pads, a windscreen, and a tail tidy kit that are more of visual elements than functional. The mechanical specifications of the GSX-8S Cert Edition are unchanged and it continues to be powered by a 776 cubic centimeters, parallel twin, liquid-cooled engine that delivers a maximum power and peak torque output of 81.8 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters, respectively. Adding to the ease of use are some crucial electronic aids like a traction control system, up and down quick shifter, an easy start system, low RPM assist, and three riding modes. Underpinned by a steel tubular frame, the bike rides on 17-inch alloy wheels suspended by USD forks and a monoshock, both sourced from KYB. Stopping power comes from Nissan calipers at both ends. With the Suzuki GSX-8S now available in nearly all parts of the world, it's safe to say that the Japanese manufacturer has broken the stigma of it sitting on its laurels when it comes to innovation. You could go as far as saying that the new middleweight naked bike sets a new standard in the category, delivering more performance and technology than some of its counterparts, along with the equally new Honda CB750 Hornet. This year marks 30 years since the inception of Ducati's iconic monster family. The Italian brand is celebrating the occasion by rolling out the 30th anniversary edition of the 2024 monster. To make it stand out visually, Ducati has adorned the motorcycle with a special livery sporting an Italian tricolor flag comprising red, white, and green shades. It will be limited to just 500 units and each of them will come with its designated serial number on the top triple clamp. Moreover, there will be a special logo on the seat, a passenger seat cover, and a dedicated bike cover. The exclusivity of this edition goes beyond what meets the eye. For instance, the suspension duties are handled by USD forks and a monoshock with both being fully adjustable and sourced from Olean's. Even the braking hardware is equally premium. At the front, it gets Brembo Stylema monoblock calipers with aluminium flanges to reduce weight. 
The master cylinder is also supplied by Brembo while the brake pads are centered. Upping the exclusivity of the Monster 30th Anniversary Edition are carbon fiber mudguards, additional wet riding mode, a lithium-ion battery, and a reduction in its overall curb weight. What remains the same as the standard model is its 937 cubic centimeters, Testostrata, 11 degree, twin cylinder engine that produces 110 brake horsepower of max power and 93 newton meters of torque. Lighter, with carbon fiber mudguards, a Terminioni exhaust and commemorative 30th anniversary, only 500 units of the Ducati Monster 30th Anniversario will be made. Only 500 units of Monster 30th Anniversary model will be offered. Meanwhile, his refined seven-spoke cast wheels and a set of upgraded Brembo, his calipers sharpen the chassis. Weight reduction also seems to be a build priority, as Betsy employs carbon fiber front rear tire guards, exhaust tips, cylinder cover inserts, radiator shrouds and side body panels. A matte silver base symbolizes neutrality. From the appearance of the Moto Guzzi V100 Sport Strata 2024, you can feel the commitment to the commercial model tubular steel lattice frame and cantilever swing arm. While red accents complement the packaging. Of course, his standard V100 Mandelo is eye-catching in and of itself, but we don't blame Moto introducing a Neo Retro based on a sports tour. The rest of the body also blends tradition with modernity, incorporating elements such as the fuel tank gill and digital dashboard into the overall traditional design. Naturally, the V100 Sport Strata does away with springs for the passenger pegs and rear set in order to live up to its sporting ambitions. Previously, we already talked about the appearance of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio, which is built based on the current V100 Mandelo. Yeah, I just wanna be the spy photo of the new Stelvio taking a road test indicate that this new Moto Guzzi S bike is ready for mass production. And recently, a designer Oberden Betsy made a concept of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Sportstrada, which is also built based on the current V100 Mandelo. It is powered by the compact block engine of the V100 Mandelo, a 90-degree transversal V-twin of 1,042 cubic centimeters. But looks like a nasty and sporty naked. So keep watching. On the basis of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo, the designer Oberden Betsy hypothesizes a new V100 Sport Strata, a nasty and sporty naked. A motorcycle which, according to the designer, could play the role of the most extreme Moto Guzzi ever, which could capture the attention of even those who have never considered choosing a motorcycle from Mandelo. Suzuki previously announced its plans to withdraw completely from racing. This was almost always true, as the brand withdrew from the most prestigious two-wheel racing series, MotoGP. However, the Japanese manufacturer decided that it would continue its racing prowess in the EWC with the very successful Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, currently fourth in the 2023 standings. In the fall of 2022, Suzuki released a special edition Hayabusa, inspired by the iconic Bold Dior Endurance Race in France. This time, with summer in full swing, Suzuki has unveiled yet another limited edition sports machine. This time, the Japanese manufacturer has released a race edition of the popular naked bike, the GSXS 1000. Here, we find a unique color inspired by the Suzuki Endurance Racing Team, as well as the addition of some upgrades to give the bike a sportier feel and better performance. With the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition, Suzuki has transformed a standard GSX-S1000 into a track-ready machine. For starters, it gets a new rear end to provide a sportier line, as well as a full set of engine and crankcase guards from GB Racing. Of course, nothing expresses track readiness more than a seat fairing, as well as red-painted Brembo calipers. To offer the bike a little more noise, the race edition also includes an Acropovic exhaust system. On top of all this, the limited edition Naked Sport Bike includes a numbered Cert FW plate and a welcome pack that includes a hat and a t-shirt.
From a performance standpoint, nothing really changes, as the Race Edition is essentially a cosmetic upgrade kit, with the exception of the Acropovic system, which could add maybe 2 or 3 horsepower. That said, Suzuki's 999 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled, fuel-injected inline four-cylinder engine with a maximum output of 152 horsepower is Suzuki's most powerful engine. As for price and availability, the Suzuki GSX-S1000 Race Edition is a limited-release exclusive to the French market. A range of accessories and extravagant decoration are quite expensive, with the bike selling for 16,999 to 3,500 euros more than the standard model.